Hi there, this is the DDS Signal Generator. This is how it came in this open and close sample plastic uh, yeah, thingy. <laughs> um, here is the uh, output wire with the BNC connector and some alligator clips. In the red plastic cover is the display. Um, here are some components in an extra uh, bag. On the other side there is the manual which is finally an English manual that's really neat because if you have seen the videos from my radio kits you have seen that there is just a Chinese manual supplied with the kit but this one looks like it's obviously in English. <laughs> okay, um, here is the rest of the circuit board, here is the circuit board and well the package. So this is how I received this uh, DDS signal generator kit. Here are some switches, the display, some knobs that you can put on the switches, some screws, some connectors like BNC connector, DC connector and use small USB connector. The couple looking things are some devices that you can use for mounting the case, something that looks like a potentiometer but actually isn't a potentiometer, some electrolytic capacitors, some bridges for bridging various parts on the PCB. Um, here is the here is the housing or part of the housing, here is the other part of the housing, here is the manual and here is of course the output connector. So now I've built this DDS signal generator and it's working. Here you can align the frequency for example, but you can also type it in and it has, had various, it has various features like you can change the waveform which is WF then you can also change the output voltage here it's 5 volts but you can change that and it has lots of features so it goes from I think 1 Hertz to 200 kilohertz. I wasn't uh, having problems with the manual because the manual is very well made it's, it's some good paper not the cheap paper and also there are color photographs and photos pictures inside the manual that's very well made but uh, well on my DDS there is one switch left over I mean there is no place where should I solder it in and I made a mistake that I did solder in the power switch and this uh, device for adjusting the frequency and various other settings I put it in the wrong way and I was having really trouble getting it out again uh, I was having really some trouble with this uh, <laughs> uh, I should have read the manual because in the manual it's written how you build it in but I was expecting it to be like that and to be built in like I built it in and well that was wrong. So that's the, uh, that's the DDS working. Um, <coughs> uh, there's not much to say about it. I mean I could take my oscilloscope and show you the waveforms but I mean is it really necessary to show a sine wave, a square wave and a triangle wave? Uh, I've tested it, uh, I've connected a headphone with volume control on the output and it's putting out frequencies and if I change the waveform the sound changes as you'd expect. And yeah, it's working. The only thing is, um, well, I'm not really having any purpose for this. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I could use it for measuring out coils, uh, determining the resonant frequency uh, or whatsoever, but Currently, I'm not sure wherefore I should use it. It was a present to me, and I'm thankful to the person that gave it to me. Thank you. But, well, there it is. And, yeah, that's the DDS signal generator, and it's working.